Doc Talk is brought to you by Multimin USA, manufacturers of Multimin 90, sure trace mineral supplementation by timed injection. Hi there, folks. Welcome to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson. I'm sure glad that you joined us today on the show. We're going to have a very special guest, Dr. Roger Main, who is the director of the Veterinary Diagnostic Lab at Iowa State University. We're going to talk about new technologies and new things that are happening here in the world of veterinary diagnostics at Iowa State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. Stay tuned. The benefits we've seen with multi-min is, is mainly in our conception rate uh, in our AI program. We've seen a 5 to 6 percent increase in our conception rate, which is huge in, in what we do. Uh, take five to six percent increase in your conception rate with seven, eight hundred cows, that's a bunch more AI calves. So that's where we see the big return is in our conception rate on our AI program. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value. This segment is brought to you by Rotomix, manufactured in the USA and designed for feeding performance in the feedlots, beef production, dairy, and cow-calf operations. Roger, welcome to the show. Good morning. Glad <laughs> to be here, Dan. <laughs> Folks, this is Dr. Roger Main, and he's the director of Veterinary Diagnostic Lab here at Iowa State University. And it's special for me to be on the road, being an Iowa State alum, yep. and, and, and you the same, and to be back here in Ames. and. Yep and spend some time with you all here at the College of Veterinary Medicine. Well, welcome, and we're glad you're here. <laughs> well, it's always fun to come home. Yep. And you direct the Veterinary Diagnostic Lab, and I think a lot of times people don't understand the D-Lab or right. you know, the projects and, and, and services that you supply. So what are, just let's give a little background sure. as to what you... Kind of who we are and yep. what we do, yep. yep. And so uh, we have a, uh, the, the Diagnostic Lab at Iowa State University is a team of about uh, about 25 faculty and a little over 100 staff, technical staff. And we're housed here at the College of Veterinary Medicine here at Iowa State. And we really have a, a tripartite mission, but the, 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 the core mission, the leading mission is service. And so uh, we serve as the reference laboratory for practicing veterinarians uh, who send us all kinds of, of uh, pieces, parts, samples, submissions, and so on from from the state of Iowa, but then from, uh, in, especially in swine, from all over the country. Uh, and so essentially, we're their reference diagnostic laboratory. Cool. And, and Iowa State is unique in the fact that your emphasis on, on some of the food animal. Yes, uh -huh. right. So we, 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 uh, you know, we're a fully credited, uh, full service laboratory and that provides comprehensive diagnostic services. So that means uh, services across all of the different ologies or, or the diagnostic disciplines. But we have about 95% of our um, service work is uh, related towards food animal medicine. Right. To food animal right. practitioners. So what are some, let's jump into, you know, some of the programs or some of the things, some of the happenings here right. at, at uh, Iowa State's Veterinary Diagnostic Lab. Right. So I think one of the things that people would be surprised about, Dan, is that the, uh, the amount of uh, really state-of-the-art technologies that are being used to uh, monitor and improve and uh, manage the health of our, uh, of our uh, food supply uh, or our production animal medicine. And uh, it, as one example is the just here locally at our laboratory has seen a very significant increase in the utility of diagnostics over the last uh, past number of years. At some scale, uh, we uh, process something a little over uh, a thousand cases a week. So last year we did something north of 55,000 <laughs> case submissions. And that's like, so it's a little over a thousand boxes that come in, uh, again, from, uh, from uh, Iowa and throughout the country each week that have this uh, kind of, uh, a wide range of diagnostic testing and evaluation that's done. And uh, one of the, the, uh, the larger growth areas has been in the use of uh, molecular diagnostics and uh, genetic sequencing technology. So molecular di diagnostics or PCR diagnostics are, you know, state-of-the-art tools for uh, detection, presence, absence of specific diseases. Uh, the vast majority of that is same-day testing. And, uh, and then we do an awful lot of genetic sequencing of specific viruses in particular to help practitioners better understand the epidemiology of where these different viruses have come from um, and how they can use that information to enhance their 
whether that's vaccine-based decisions and or specifically uh, proactive management decisions to uh, not only say diagnose disease, but uh, moreover to prevent disease. Well, it's kind of like the CSI for food animals. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. When we, uh, we'll take a break now, but when we come back, we'll have more about veterinary diagnostics with Dr. Roger Main here at Iowa State University. This segment was brought to you by Brute Cattle Equipment, makers of the Brute Stealth Hydraulic Chute. If the chute fits, swear by it. Visit our website for more information. And by Lalaman Animal Nutrition, dedicated to the development and production of natural and differential solutions for animal nutrition. Hi there, Dr. Dan from Doc Talk. Be sure to join me next week as we're going to talk about how to test for pharmacological agents in animals. Be sure to join me here every Monday afternoon at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, and I'll see you down the road. Got cattle? Rotomix manufactures a complete line of energy-efficient rotary and vertical feed mixers for feedlots, beef production, dairy, and cow-calf operations. Our mixers are available with the patented Generation 2 Staggered Rotor, the industry standard for feeding wet rations that include wet distiller's grain. Made in the USA, Rotomix mixers are designed for feeding performance that American cattlemen and dairy producers have come to expect. Rotomix, proud to offer a better mix in less time using less fuel. Join the team, the Beef Quality Assurance Team. Getting BQA certified shows you're committed to practices that produce the highest quality beef in the world. And by visiting BQA.org, you can take the online certification course at a time that fits your schedule and from the comfort of your home or office. You'll also find lots of helpful tips on improving animal health and animal handling practices. Get certified, BQA certified, because it's about doing the right thing. Visit BQA.org today and become a member of the BQA team. Working your cattle just got easier. Introducing the new Vet Gun Delivery System, a new way to apply topical insecticides to your cattle. The Vet Gun lets you remotely treat cattle with effective parasite control, so you can do it from an ATV, on horseback, or just walking among the herd. It's that simple. The proven topical insecticide AML Vet Cap is used with the Vet Gun. It works fast to control horn flies and lice while minimizing stress on your cattle. Fast, easy, effective. Vet Gun. Check with your animal health supplier for availability. Valley Vet Supply is devoted to providing information and professional quality products at reasonable prices. This segment is brought to you by Norbrook Laboratories, manufacturers of Normycin LA, Normectrum Plus, 1% and Poron, the practical choice for your herd. Welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Roger Main, who is the director of the Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory at Iowa State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. And we've been having a discussion about the Veterinary Diagnostic Lab in general and, and the, the transition to molecular uh, diagnostics. But one of the things that I think that people don't understand is the how important the Veterinary Diagnostic Lab is to food security and, right. and, and food safety. Right. So, um, kind of in short, I think we all, uh, on a, with a working understanding that healthy animals mean safe food. Yep. And so the diagnostic laboratory is our folks here. We have a you know team of very talented diagnosticians, um, and a very committed uh, team of staff that work behind those those folks. But uh, those diagnosticians are really on the. They're really on the front lines that are working on a daily basis, and I, and I mentioned in the previous segment about a thousand times a week that there's a direct touch to it to an individual practitioner that's out there uh, working with producers on farms, looking after the health of their animals, and so we really play a significant role at the laboratory of supporting our local practitioners who are working in turn with their producers to uh, do all that we can. Uh, to help ensure that we have a, a health, a healthy livestock industry, and um, and uh, more importantly, a, a safe uh, and uh, sustainable source of, of protein to yep. feed our people, and and uh, and of course, a big thing in animal agriculture has has, has occurred too is the growth of our export, uh, our export uh, meat animal industries have just has been nothing short of phenomenal, and uh, that's a sustainable thing for our states, our economies. Um, to uh, to help protect that that uh, market access to yeah. uh, to trade. Well, we did a survey. I I, I do some consulting for McDonald's Corporation. Mm -hmm. Did a survey globally, mm -hmm. 
and ask the consumers to define animal welfare and food safety. And the two things that came up from that survey, number one, the consumer associates a healthy food product or a safe food product coming from a healthy animal. You bet. And an animal that's, that's healthy is one that's well taken care of. That's right. That's right. And, and uh, the, uh, they're, they're, I think it's very correct. And there's not a whole lot more than uh, uh, maintaining the health of the animal that has a direct impact on its well-being. Yes. And I think one of the, the things that's probably had uh, been one of the most significant changes in our diagnostic uh, arena has been the use of proactive surveillance-based diagnostics. And so these diagnostics are, are truly being done um, uh, on the front end to say is how do we really promote the health, well-being, and, and ultimately the welfare of the animals that are being, being reared to ensure we have this not only a productive industries that we serve, uh, but moreover uh, a very safe product that is, uh, is going into the food chain. Yep, we're going to take another break. But I think it's important to understand that the, the, the profession, veterinary profession, is key to animal welfare and food safety. And within our profession, what you're doing on a day-to-day -day basis in our veterinary diagnostic lab, you're kind of the front door to that all. Sure. We definitely provide a significant role from, from delivering state-of-the-art technology and tools to our practitioners who are working producers on the farms on a daily basis. That's great. Thanks for watching Doc Talk. More with Dr. Roger Main from Iowa State University as Doc Talk is on the road after the break. This Meet the Veterinarian is brought to you by Merck Animal Health, the science of healthier animals. Dr. Robert W. Sprowls, resident director of Texas A&M's Veterinary Medical Diagnostic Laboratory, was recently honored with the Texas A&M AgriLife Vice Chancellor's Award in Excellence for services, specifically diagnostic services. Working with both large and small cattle operations, Dr. Sprouls brings his skills as a diagnostician, pathologist, and leader to a complex role. As dependable as the sunrise, in dairy parlors, open pastures, on ranches and feed yards across America, a place where reputation is more than a name, where the science of healthier animals is a way of life. It's the responsibility that drives who we are and what we do. Every decision, every day. It's your livelihood and our responsibility. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine is a leader in food animal research and education. Our researchers are constantly expanding the knowledge of animal health and food safety. Through the Veterinary Health Center and the Kansas State Veterinary Diagnostic Lab, we provide practical services for animal producers. Home of the Beef Cattle Institute, the college is committed to animal welfare training and research. The Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine, knowledge and service for the future of animal production. This hog is Hanover Hoof for meal made from U.S. soybeans. Now, one hog isn't that impressive, but suppose we add another, and another, and another. Before long, you've got billions of hungry customers around the world all clamoring for the same thing. Our soybeans. Learn more about the billion-dollar appetite of animal agriculture at beyondtheelevator.com. Brought to you by America's Soybean Farmers and their checkoff. Cow-calf, stalker, and feedlot producers know that effective parasite control improves overall herd performance and profitability. Norbrook offers a comprehensive, economical line of boron and injectable parasiticides for every livestock operation. Consult with your local animal health supplier to set up a program that protects your investment and brings larger cattle checks this fall. See for yourself why the Noromectin line from Norbrook is the practical choice for your herd. True Test Group, weighing systems, electronic identification, EID, electric fencing, and dairy automation systems help farmers and ranchers around the world manage the performance of their livestock for ultimate profitability. Hi there, folks. Welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dan Thompson, and I'm here with Dr. Roger Main, who's the director of the Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory here at Iowa State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. Tickled death to pry you away. I know how busy you are and, and come in here, but, you know, when we talked about diagnostics and the importance, and, and we had mentioned during the break some of these tra transboundary diseases, right. understanding the importance. I don't think people understand the importance 
of food security and why we have the diagnostic lab set up the way that we do. Right. Well, one, I think uh, one recent example that we've uh, definitely been right in the middle of, of here uh, at Iowa State recently has been uh, in the spring of 2013 in May, uh, there was a, a new virus or a virus that was new to the U.S. Uh, that was introduced that uh, causes uh, diarrhea in pigs and, uh, and uh, definitely a high degree of mortality in um, uh, neonatal pigs when mm -hmm. they're first infected, when the, when, the, when the breeding farms are first infected. And just to give you an example of kind of how something like that plays out, and so, I mean, how that starts, it all starts with a case. Yep. Right, where the the uh, pract practicing veterinarian is working with a the farmer, they uh, see some pigs of ill health, they submit samples to the diagnostic lab, and then it's really that interaction between the the practitioner and the diagnostician going back and forth to say how do we figure this out, and just to give you an example of of how the the lab plays a front line in that is to say that starts with a case and then it's like but then it's not solved and so then it we involve our research research more research focused diagnosticians and this is in a matter of days not weeks or months to say we got this case it's not resolving what could it be what are where what is this are there diseases elsewhere in the world that look like this present like this and to give you an example then within a matter of uh, really 10 days of, of an, that initial submission, we were able to run a, 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 a what's called a, a PCR that's specific just for a family of viruses and says, well, that family of viruses is in there and look at it under electron microscope to say, well, there, I can see it, right? Hmm. And then we run these molecular sequencing technologies to say it's this virus, know the genome of the virus, and then not only know what virus it is, but where in the world it came from Good grief. within a matter of days. And then, uh, of course, then the lab is on the front lines of, well, how do we develop high throughput PCR assays to get that diagnost those diagnostic tools onboarded here so they can be offered to the industry as the industry works through, well, how are we going to contain, control, and manage this new disease that has been introduced into our country? So then you, the the from start to finish, from the case from out in the field to, to having the, the, the virus identified and, and replicated within 10 days. Yes, it was basically over a, a, a two-week period from the time of that first, came, first case coming in to uh, the U U.S. Department of Agriculture announcing we now have this new disease that's been entered into the U.S. It's remarkable and the, and the importance to that. We got about 30 seconds before the break, but you know, your funding and keeping this is, is so vital for, for the economy of the United States. Sure, sure. So we play a really front, like say, a frontline role, and then we're very fortunate to, uh, uh, that uh, we have, a, as far as uh, a very close relationship with, with our stakeholders, meaning our clients who are the veterinarians, and then the commodity groups who are, you know, uh, support them. And, uh, and between that and our relationship here at the college and with the Iowa Department of Agriculture, it's a really, uh, I think it's probably one of the most classic work, working examples of the, you know, the tripartite mission of the, of the land-grant institutions in action on a day, daily basis. That's great. After the break, we'll come back and have a conclusion with Dr. Roger Main. You're watching Doc Talk, and we're glad that you joined us. We've been using Multiman for about seven years. Uh, it's one of the most multi-use products that we have here on the farm. Bulls, cows, calves, weaning age cattle, just about everything on the place. If they go through the chute, they get a shot of it. The primary use that we started Multiman was on our, in our donor program, in our embryo transplant program. I'd recommend Multiman to any, any producer in the cattle business. Here at Deer Valley, every animal that goes through the chute gets a dose of Multiman. Hi, I'm Kevin Oxner, host of NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman and Colorado Rancher. Join me each week as the National Cattlemen's Beef Association brings you the latest updates in industry information and market news. Plus, each week we provide important educational information and features on cattlemen from across the country just like you. And we can't forget our favorite cowboy poet, Paxter Black. Join me for NCBA's Cattleman to Cattleman, debuting Tuesday nights at 8.30 Eastern, right here on RFD-TV. 
beef producers need a practical choice when antibiotic therapy is required. More than ever, they are reaching for non-prescription Noramycin 300 LA from Norbrook, specially formulated to produce sustained antibiotic blood levels up to four days in cattle. Noramycin 300 LA delivers economic, broad-spectrum disease management for pneumonia, shipping fever, pink eye, wound infections, and foot rot. See for yourself why Norbrook's Noramycin 300 LA is the practical choice for your herd. Hi there, Dr. Dan from Doc Talk. Be sure to join me next week as my guest will be Dr. Hans Katsia from Iowa State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. We're going to talk about issues surrounding testing for residues in animals, whether it's performance enhancing drugs or residues from antibiotics. Be sure to join me here every Monday afternoon at 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time right here on RFD TV and I'll see you down the road. This segment is brought to you by the Beef Quality Assurance Program and the Kansas Beef Council, improving animal care and beef safety for more than 20 years. Hi there folks, welcome back to Doc Talk. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson here with Dr. Roger Main, who's the director of the Veterinary Diagnostic Laboratory at Iowa State University's College of Veterinary Medicine. And we're talking about diagnostics and incredible technology that y'all have and amazing 10 days from the time of practitioner sees the disease in the field and all of a sudden we know what's going on what's next I mean what you know there, right. there are some limitations out there and right what are some things so we have to do? we've definitely have learned a lot you know continue to learn every day yep. uh, but uh, that uh, this this introduction of the new this new disease into to the US swine herd essentially and uh, um, unfortunately once this new disease got into um, what would otherwise be a naive population as a U.S. herd, so to speak, it's definitely shown its ability to spread quite, quite quickly. And so there's a lot of parallels that we're saying, well, how do we learn from this to make us better in the future? And one of the key components that we're uh, working in cooperation with our peer diagnostic labs, uh, including Kansas State, um, has, uh, is being how do we enhance our uh, animal health um, information management net networks, are, if you will. Um, because that is an area that really has some opportunity to improve to really enhance the country's preparedness and readiness to uh, manage new diseases as they, uh, as we, uh, whether that's eradicating diseases that we have yep. or uh, containing uh, new diseases that may occur in the future. And uh, it's really all about how do we get system, user-friendly systems in place that can readily link whether that's a, an animal movement or a diagnostic submission back to a, to a specific herd and get it in a network that the folks that need that access to that information, meaning the practitioner, um, at producer groups, state, at state animal health officials in the case of regulatory diseases, to really to say where we have seamless systems in which in, information can move. Because one thing we've learned for sure about this is, you know, so much of animal agriculture today is it runs on wheels. Yep. The amount of trucks and trucks, right? So the amount of animal movement that occurs in this country is tremendous, and all of that movement and the transition of animal agriculture to segregated systems of production has really been built around enhancing the the animal health, yep. welfare, well-being, yep. and productivity. And we so we so we've sure seen that, and which has played a significant role in enhancing the well-being of the industries and the competitive competitiveness in the global marketplace which is what's a significant reason why the U.S. exports have, have has increased so dramatically in recent years. And so it's how do we enhance our information management infra infrastructure such that we're in a, in a, in a uh, sus position such that those uh, market accesses yeah. are sustainable. Well, at the end of the day, you've got tremendous technology and we need to be able to trace animal movements. Right. So. Yep. All right. Well, Thanks a million yeah. for being on the show. You bet. Thanks, it's always, Dan. Always a pleasure to come back to I'm Glad Iowa you could State. come and visit us here at the College of Vet Med at Iowa State. <laughs> well, thanks for taking the time out. And thank you for watching Doc Talk. If you want to know more about what we do at Doc Talk, you can find us on the web at www.doctalktv.com. Remember, always work with your local practitioner. You've been watching us here on RFD TV. We're sure glad to join us. I'm Dr. Dan Thompson from Kansas State University, and I'll see you down the road. Closed caption brought to you by AgriLabs, the perfect pairing of performance and value.
For more information about this program or previous programs, go to DocTalkTV.com. Doc Talk was brought to you by Multimin USA, manufacturers of Multimin 90, Sure Trace Mineral Supplementation by Timed Injection, 